There's the whole Keemstar wanting to sue Lo Leafy. Keemstar wanting to see. Oh my god, I can't say sue. Keemstar wanting to sue Luffy. Oh. Hey guys, it's Wolchon. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. It's not really gaming. It's more of the things that I've been thinking about these last couple of days. I mean, things have gone crazy if you've been in the YouTube community, even if you're just a bystander for watching. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying anything's happening to me because simply it's not. I'm a very small YouTuber. I don't even have enough subscribers to really have a fan base. And most of them are family and friends. And most people probably won't see this video to begin with, but I still figured I'd document it and make a video out of it just because there's, there is a lot that has been going on. So, if you haven't been paying attention, there's a lot of YouTubers that have been suing other YouTubers, or suing other companies that have been making it pretty public, getting attorneys involved, all, all this crap. Most notably, right now, Keemstar wanting to sue Leafy, and Leafy wanting to sue Keemstar. I watched a lot of videos on it, I've watched what both of them have said. Pretty much, Leafy has been accused of subbotting, and things just got out of hand with it. I don't have a personal opinion whether he's been doing it or not. I see it really difficult for him to be doing something like that because he's such a big YouTuber. I don't see why he would need to do that. But anything could really happen. Anyone could do anything. You, you, you never know what other people are capable of. Other lawsuits are Bold Guy suing HH3, which in my opinion is kind of how everything started. That's when I really started to notice things have been happening. There's also been other lawsuits going on, such as YouTuber24 contacting his lawyers against McJuggernuggets for a breach of contract, which, even though I think is fake, is still notable just in case if it isn't. Though with his expertise and the way he's done his videos in the past, I think it's more of a publicity stunt to get other people to watch this documentary. And also, there's HH3 who claims that they may sue T-Mobile for giving out information and giving out pretty much their SIM card, though I honestly think out of all the things that's going on, that's probably the only one that I would myself would sue people for, because it's giving out information and that's a serious thing. Got me thinking, what does YouTube hold in store for the future? Or small YouTubers like us who are trying to get big. I mean, it is scary knowing that one day I could be a big YouTuber and somebody come after me just because I said something over the internet. It's all kind of dumb, in my opinion. I think this whole suing thing won't get old either. I think a lot of people are coming out saying they're going to sue other people because more people are doing it, which I think is kind of dumb. I think it's just like the new trend, and I hope it ends soon because if Keemstar really does sue Leafy, it could be a big deal, not just because of those parties, but because of the president that they send to other people. That's all I have for today, guys. Leave a comment if I missed anything, like the video, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to me already. I'd really appreciate it. I'm probably going to do more content like this if I feel like it, or if I just really want to talk about something. There's just something that, I guess it doesn't really hit home because I'm not big, but it's something that I could really think about because it might happen one day. Probably not. I'm not that entertaining. But, like I said, comment, like, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.